I was just at the gym with Abed. You know, we're just like a very strong team, very athletic. It's kind of Fly who like started, you know, you look at Fly and you see how muscly he is. But me, Abed and Bulba are following in his footsteps. The only one who's not doing it is Arteezy, so fans should really talk to him. Okay. Hello guys, this is our apartment. Don't, don't mind the mess. That's all crits and Abed's. I am very clean, so blame them. This is our room. There's the TV. Very big, very nice. Let's check out the fridge. <laughs> this, these are Albert's like pre-workouts and uh, protein powders. I have my own here, of course. It's so where, you know, to cook. Uh, our fridge, very empty. <laughs> One of the best ice cream. How do you feel about yesterday's match? Good. It was finally like someone who is like similar to to our levels. Arteezy blocks the way. That should be another kill to go the way of Shopify. And with that, Yamsun, he's gonna oh. try. Look at the damage output. Oh. Saberlight. No, he's still running. Arteezy, he's onto a triple. Can he find some more? He's on a husky now. Never mind. He wants to move first, but the dark sea is gonna search. But look at the sprout. It does connect. He is gone. <laughs> I think I played pretty bad last night. Huge Arbet. trouble on that dark sea. Problem is Arbet, he has gone too deep. I'm lucky I got carried by my teammates. Oh, nice RP. Saber light. That's what you want to see. Right into the hook shot from Fly. There is no surviving. Crit right dead game, actually. Crit. Just making it absolutely hellish. Yeah, he did. He had an insane KDA. It's all about the KDA. Gobble up, no, it's way off the oh mark, and now the black hole. Oh, they walk right into it. That's it. GG's call. Ouch. Oh, boy. I mean, shot by Rebellion. They did get challenged a bit by now and here, but every single team fight. The A God himself. Obviously, y'all are pretty clearly going to win the region if things continue as they are. So, how do you avoid becoming complacent? Uh, who's the one that's like making sure everybody keeps their minds in the game? Um, well, we scrim a lot of European teams, so we get smashed every now and then. So that keeps <laughs> us in check, you know. So, I mean, yeah, we just keep working hard and uh, focusing on improving. I have a plan to stream, but. Uh... Uh, we've been scrimming quite a lot, so I've been kind of tired after the scrims, so I don't really feel like streaming. All right, so what's your what's your mantra for like this year? Like, what's gonna make this year different for you? What are you gonna change to like reach your goals? I think I'm just gonna try to view things with an open open mind, because like I feel before a couple of years ago, I was very restricted in my viewing like of things. Uh, especially now, I feel Dota is a lot of how you play as a team and a lot of things can really work in the end so i've been having a very more open-minded approach to things uh, as opposed to before i would say thank you so much rtz <laughs> for your time and obviously good luck going forward easy Now he gets caught anyway. Arbet's gonna get a double kill. Soul pops the ult now, but chances are they're just kind of screwed. Wall is there with the vacuum setup, and Soul is dead. Finally gonna get punished, but Arbet, he just walks right in. He sees Rise and he arrow. takes him out. A very nice arrow from Fly, threading the needle. That'll Jeez. be a double for Arbet once again. And so they get Saberlight, but it just costs so Ah, 
Go get a reset. Oh, no. He comes up in with a double turret. It's like they forgot he had the ages. He's got a double damage available. He goes crit with a nice spear. Landing on two as well. Crit is just showing off now. Monster, oh, he drops the arena, but it means nothing. Soul's trapped up. Meanwhile, towards the south, Saberlight is just eating everyone alive. Looks like Shopify will put him out of their misery for this game. Thank you. Look, Machine Gun Kelly, that is him, 1,000%. Whoa. I've never worn these kinds of boots. Let's see how it works out. I feel like a little bit like a sumo wrestler, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, how can you run in boots? Does that make sense? Yeah. Who runs in boots? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just, I was the first guy doing individual shots, so they like, had to adjust the lighting and stuff. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, they were calling you what, an NPC? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call us. Who's, who is the most active tower in Pokemon here? Saber. Saber? Artor, Artor. Two word description. Of to today so far is it's bra moment. Bra moment? Is good or bad? It's good, right? What? Bra moment. Bra. It's good, right? Bra? After after sitting around, it was finally my turn to act, and I literally destroyed the flag. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I destroyed the actual prop. walking in past the T1 tower. Snowball is there with the frostbite set up. Wait, here comes Arbeth though, with a great snowball, saving Crit's life and Tomato still trying no. but can't. Only 300 gold short here on the Tiny. It's a bit of unfortunate timing. Still, Kasane gonna move in with the Familiars. Oh. Arbet happily moving in though, just takes him out. Overgrowth though, is gonna hold oh. down Arteezy, but the RP is out from Saberlight. Oh Drag my god. Couple back. It's a big problem here for TSM, but Arteezy, he's still dropping. Arbet with the snowball, trying to buy a bit of time, but it's not gonna be enough. Oh, he's got that side to buy south. They found Arteezy, but they don't have the backup quite yet. Saberlight looking for Skewer back, but the Hex is there to save the day. Arteezy wins the chrono coming out. He gets two in it. In fact, make that three. Bryle in massive trouble. He is down. One minute and a half is now. The, they found another. Oh, tomato. tomato. Tomato's been caught. Tomato's in trouble. Arteezy, can he get the damage? Tomato trapped between a rock and a hard place, but I'll go for the man fight. Arteezy's gone. The lean has got enough. They can't kill her off. Four are down. GG is caught. Oh my god. TSM. Woo. They've done it. They've given the first loss out to Shopify Rebellion. And, they have. Uh, in, in what fashion? In what fashion? In like, what they, fashion? They... I think we were in pretty good spirits going into the game. Not sure if the scrims, like, if it's good or bad, because also we played against an opponent that's pretty, kind of, uh, they're way easier, in a way. So, uh, I, I don't really have an opinion on that yet. I feel like we would have to try it again. I, the frustrating thing for me in the second game is that I don't think anyone in the game really knows how we're going to win. That's that's why I know I was that my comps were really bad. Like I was definitely stressing a lot, but I just don't see how we win. And then when I asked, like if like what people think, like how do we fight, and nobody says anything, then I don't know how the fuck we win the game. It was bad. I realized it was bad. Probably shouldn't have reacted that way. So that's definitely something for me to improve on. There was a lot of lack of decisiveness, especially the second game. It wasn't really clear who we were playing for and. I'm not sure if it's just draft related or it's also play, but even at the moment that we were strongest, the first first fight when we had Tom and everything, it was very clear that what we're going to do, we're going to go and take their their area. And then at that point, I wasn't sure if we're like hitting Roche or we're trying to kill, because I'm looking to kill with Abed, 
but we don't have a jump. So it was very, very unclear what we were doing at that point. Okay, well, coach disrespected TSM. He can talk all he wants. I think that's what he's good at. <laughs> Gave them from Lina two games, said that you can deal with it guys, and uh, we fucking lost. What we're gonna do next time, uh, do nothing different. <laughs> Keep giving them Lina. Uh, we can beat Lina, it's fine. Yeah, next okay. time, don't worry. Take it easy, calm down. No, no, I, yeah. no, like, I mean there's some easy. teams where like, I think, okay, we got fucked, you know? Like, but I, I really think that these guys are, you guys are way better than these guys. <laughs> but it's okay because we're going to the major and we're going to play some Avalon with Dario. Wait, do you remember actually we played a tiebreaker? We're in See you in Lima. <laughs> Dude, he, now he's... Uh...